Right, I'm sat with Darren Davies now. He's been catching loads of fish this morning on the Waggler. It's uh, the wind's just picked up a little bit. It's just got a bit naughty now, so there's a little bit of a, a lull in the action. So perfect time to just sit down with Darren and just see exactly how he's been catching. So uh, we're on the Waggler, yeah. on the rod and line. Fishing the Waggler, John, on the bottom. Yeah. Um, it's probably about five foot deep out there. Yeah. And towing through just a little bit. The wind's sort of right to left, just creating a bit of a ripple, mm -hmm. and just. Just skimming the water through a little bit. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, earlier this morning it was flat calm. It was lovely when it was early, perfect waggler conditions. Earlier this morning, flat calm, lovely. You could, you know, cast and feed on a on a six foot sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Now, now the toes picked up, the winds got up, it's spreading the bait and it's about a little bit more. Yeah, and it's yeah. just sort of made it a little bit harder. Yeah on the, quite a cold day. I think that's important to say really isn't it? I mean I think float fishing, waggler fishing is one of my favourite methods Without but it. but you have to pick the right day to do it don't you? You have to have the right day, right conditions yeah mm -hmm. so especially when you're just targeting a few fish yeah. you have to group your bait tight you know things like that. Mm -hmm. that's, that's so what actually important. have you been feeding today? Um, started off feeding hard six mil pellets um, like I say when there was no wind you could group them quite close yeah. together yeah um, when the wind gets up, then you have to go to eight mils, right? Um, just to get the same sort of accuracy. And you are feeding the same amounts of bait? Yeah, I'm feeding probably like eight six mils when I feed six mils, and probably four or five sort of eight mils. Mm -hmm. um, and that regular plops going in all that, the time. That regular plop going mm -hmm. in all the time. Had two wagglers set up today, one at depth with no shot down the line at all. Right. And this one sort of about a foot over depth with three number eights down. Just, just, just for better presentation. Just for better presentation yeah. and trying to sort of slow the float down, stop yeah. it skimming through too fast. So what have you actually got on the hook? Um, basically, I'm fishing with the new Yum Yums. All right. Soft That's cooker. a six mils, yeah? That's a six mil, yeah. Right. With an 18 carp bigger hook. Yeah. To sort and of you just put a push stop on. through just there? Just a push stop. And as you can see, you can cast that sort of. 20 times and it still stays yeah yeah i mean that's important to say in it with a soft soft hooker pellets not every pellet can no, be cast like that very can hard it? to use expanders yeah you know on a waggler because you're you're casting them you're pushing the pellet yeah against yeah. the stop all the time yeah. but these are really you know they're really nice and durable and durable spongy. spongy and they stay on yeah nice. they're really good right and you've been using the natural ones mostly today i've been using the natural ones mostly yeah. they, they seem to Sort of go with my feed pellets uh -huh. the best. So you like to sort of match the hatch? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Different. Um, sometimes a change, a colour change or yeah. a smell change can make a difference. But today, just the natural ones have seemed to be right. Seem to be best. Okay. And what about the rest of your line and, um, and rod like and say, everything? Uh, a foot hook length. Yeah. And most of that hook length is over depth. Right. And I'm fishing them with three number eights. Yeah. Sort of six to eight inches apart in the bottom half of the rig. Yeah, and you're using loaded pellet wagglers, I see. Loaded yeah. pellet wagglers, yeah. Um, yeah, when it's windy, it seems to cast well. Mm -hmm. There's no shot on the line at all. You yeah. can use a grip stop with a with just a little attachment. I yeah, make. you've made those little booms, don't you? Yeah. Oh, they're quite clever. You've made me some of those. I quite like those. I never <laughs> seem to get any tangles. There's, there's no actual stress on the main line at right. all. Right, so that just lassoes on and, just a, lassoes and a few on. float stops either yeah, side. Yeah, you can move your float quite easily right. up and down as nice. and when you need to. Okay, and the main line and rod? Main line's five pound, um, rod's the 11 foot Acolyte carp wagon. Yeah, my favourite little rod. Yeah, <laughs> lovely soft rod, you can land yeah. some really big fish on it. Yeah. Um, so I've got ultimate sort of confidence yeah, yeah. in the setup. As the name suggests, it's perfect for catching carp on a pellet waggler anyway, isn't yeah. it? So, and you use this same setup for fishing shallow on the waggler as use well? Use exactly the same setup for fishing shallow. Use the same floats. Mm -hmm. All I do is I've no shot down the line at all. Right. And then I put a little disc, um, which I can show you. A little oh, washer. the little plastic dive disc. That's yeah. it, yeah. yeah. From yeah. The, uh, just to stop them plunging a little bit. Just to stop bit. them plunging, yeah. yeah. Right. You can see that plop there and you get the two plops you can tell your pellets on yeah like i say these new pellets are really really durable yeah yeah and um, you've been field testing them for quite a long yeah. time as long as the same as i have haven't you so been using them on the feeder cage feeder and stuff right. like that for bream yeah and they've been really good to be and fair. those little push stops are uh, probably the perfect thing for putting them on a herring aren't they perfect yeah, yeah. straight through and, yeah. and turn it and it just seems to sort of give you a nice solid fixing it's a nice busy method and yeah. it keeps you active and you've obviously got a float to watch so it's even if you're not getting bites it's still a nice enjoyable yeah, way I to mean, fish isn't on it? certain days um, when you've got the wind off your back especially 
it can be better than the pole fishing yeah. because you're just searching a bigger area. Oh, just oh. missed it then. It's one of those, was it a bite, wasn't yeah. it a bite? But, as you've just said, your, your hook bait is yeah. still on. Hook bait's still on and perfect. Oh, excellent. I think we're getting this chuck. <laughs>